Hi, I'm Ella from HockeyStation.com and today we're going to be looking at what's in my kit bag. First of all, we'll go through the boring things. Jill, uh, females wear Jill. Same concept, you've got the cut protection and the straps for putting up your socks. And we've got a base layer. I didn't use base layers before just because of breathability. Uh, the rinks I play out sometimes just get really, really hot. I'm using the Bauer base layer, quite new in. The reason why I like this one, usually I'd go to Sports Direct, but I always find that they're too thick. These ones have a really nice breathable mesh at the back, really stretchy. Next, another simple thing, but essential. So this is a Bauer wash bag, but I'm using it for tape. And I think a lot of people that buy these do use these for tape because they do come in handy. So it's got the main section there, it's a clear section. First of all, I've got Tubby Guy Hockey Wax. This isn't a big company. I only just started using it. I just love it. I feel like I've just got a lot more control doing stick handling and the scents are really nice as well. The other nice thing about this one is it's just so easy to put on as well. A lot of the other wax I've used, you've really had to push on the stick tape to use it, but this one just rubs on really nicely. Next, everyone uses it, leg tape. Always keep a spare roll of it just because other people might run out or I tend to run out. Stick tape, obviously, I use black just because I find I can see the blade on the ice a lot better. I use the wide one as well. Just, I find it a lot quicker to go round. I don't like spending ages to take my stick. I just like to do it really quickly. I got sent this with my skates, a true sort of microfiber cloth towel. I just use it to dry my skates after a session, just to stop any rust. I don't really want my skates to break, so I keep them lasting as long as possible. At the moment, I'm using the Blue Sniper Spray. It is essentially to kill bacteria on your kit. It also just leaves a really nice smell afterwards. At the top here, I've got a little zip pocket. I keep spare hair ties with me. I always forget to put them on or bring them with me for training. And scissors, of course, nice sharp pair, just for going around the tape, because the way I tape my stick is I go all the way to the end, so I have to cut along the toe. So getting into kit. First of all, we'll start with probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment, the FT4 Pro Shorts. I recently bought these. I just love them. The comfort is just unreal. I went from using the AS1s. The only reason why I swapped them is just because of the fit. I wanted a bit more kind of straight leg fit. They're just so comfortable and there's a lot of adjustment in there. So the small came a little bit short. At least with these ones, you've got the zip for the extension so you can drop them down an inch if you just want that extra coverage. Next, gloves. I'm using the ASV or AS5 Pro. Just really comfortable. I've not had any problems. I'm a massive fan of the D3O technology they put in all the tax range. So next we've got the ASV elbow pads. So I've had a lot of problems fitting elbow pads. Like none of the ones I have tried fit. These ones are just perfect. They don't slip down. They just stay tight. There's a lot of like movement in them as well. They're very adjustable as well. The thing I love about it is the forearm protection and the adjustability on it is crazy so we undo the velcro strap and you just pull it in so you've just got that full adjustment in there another thing it also features d3o in it as well which as i said i'm a big fan of so next we've got my shoulder pads i tend to not go top end with shoulder pads one reason because they are really bulky and for me being a female player i don't want to look really bulky these ones just fit perfectly for me. So the X, they're the XW, the women's shoulder pads. They just feel perfect. They just sit really nice on my shoulders as well. A bit more rounded than the usual shoulder pads. And it's also got the extension as well that drops down. You unvelcro it and just drop it down if you need a bit more protection. Next we have shin pads. I just uh, swapped over from using the ultrasonic shin pads and now I'm using these ones, the Hyperlites. They're incredibly light, obviously. The Hyperlite range is all really light. There's amazing half protection on there as well two-sided and it just wraps around you've got your back facing away from a player you've got that protection there also like most shin pads 
that's removable so for me that's perfect when I'm airing my kit I want to take this out if it's wet and air it it's just a really nice overall fit for me I like all my kit fitting like really snug close to my body kind of fit and these ones just fit perfectly they don't slip down at all I don't have to go really tight on the leg tape they just fit perfectly next is helmet so I've swapped between a lot of helmets just because I've got a really small head and a lot of helmets just didn't seem to work with me the CCM 910 honestly is probably the best helmet I've ever had you've got the adjustments here kind of look like wings and it's just like standard adjustment you pull them in and out but there's there's so much room in there as well got my number at the front of course 36 black cage because they seem to be a style at the moment it got white because I thought I'd be different it's also like I said I'm a big fan of features the D3O inside of it got that protection at the back and he's also on the chin cup as well that comes with D3O which is really cool the cage is actually a lot stronger than a lot of cages out on the market and also the bars are thinner as well so it just gives you a little bit better visibility everyone knows wearing a cage you don't get as much visibility as a visor next for training I believe this is quite relatable you either have to wear black or white in training white CCM socks just the CCM edge socks I don't use the knitted ones I just find these a uh, little bit more breathable black of course and then to match of course CCM white jersey I've got a black jersey as well just make sure I've always got black and white in my bag next we've got the skates true custom I believe they were the TF skates i've used these since i think i've had them just over a year i've had problems with my well with fitting in skates i've got basically weird ankle bone like an almost like an extra ankle bone it means it's just really hard for me to, to fit into any stock skates 100 percent the best skates i've used the main thing i love about these is the heat molding on them so we don't bake them like a traditional like a normal skate we bake them at a high temperature so the materials inside just meant to actually designed to mold properly and actually bring the boot in to, towards more of your foot shape so we sell customs or when people come in for customs and their skates have come in we don't put them on their feet until they've been baked because you don't know what they feel like until they've been baked so the whole process of these skates is based off a lot of it is based off the baking as well you see mainly it's the scanning process the thing I also love about these is the tongues on them as well they're changeable which a lot of the tongues, a lot of the skates, you, you can't change the tongues, but now more and more skates are doing that. I've also got speed plates inside. My arches are quite high. So I'm using the True Elite carry bag. For me, I prefer carry bags than wheel bags because I tend to be clumsy and knock into things with a wheel bag. There's so, so many pockets in this bag. There's a helmet bag and it's actually attached you can take it off as well for those who wear visors as well just helps them not get scratched it's also got a couple of laundry bags as well very helpful two pockets on the side which i use for skates lastly sticks i was using the ccm jet speed ft5 pro and we just caught a label machine as well so a proper one that nhl players use which is really cool nice feature to have so on the ccm the top end ccm sticks they've got this label and you can you can basically pull off the sticker one that says like your flex and then we've got the machine that you can put your name and number on which is really cool this is the stick i'm using at the moment nexus sync i tried the geo out for a little bit and i really liked it i thought why not just upgrade or we'll try and get the newest thing i absolutely love this stick i've only used it for a few weeks control is insane i think this is probably the best stick i've ever used it's just different I've gone between loads of sticks. A lot of the sticks I use with like low kick point. I am forward and it does help having a low kick point, but trying this out is crazy. And the stick handling, like I said, is amazing. I have gone between grips a lot. Lizard skin is the one I was using before and now I'm using the rocket grip. The reason I love these is you just feel really nice on your hands. We've got loads of options. We've got the fabric one, the rubber one, the rubber with holes. And I think this is just the standard rubber one. The cool thing about these as well, you get like these rubber rings in them in the packet. So you can place them wherever, depending on what grip you like. I like it just sleek, just one. I put the rubber bits at the end. The reason also also why I love these are so easy to apply you either just get a kettle fill it with water and just pour it on and it just seals just onto the stick or you can use a heat gun which is what I did I was just surprised how easy it went on I thought it was 
gonna be really hard. This, this was so easy to do, so anyone can just do it at home. So that's everything in my kit bag. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll put links in the description of the kit I'm using at the moment and what I've shown you in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.